Yo, 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 yo. It's your boy Papa Bag with another video. And this video right here, bro, it's another quickie video. It's a quickie. But, man, this, this, this video hold a lot of weight right here, bro. This is like, well, not like, this is the video when Randy Moss get his call that he was going to go to the NFL Hall of Fame, bro. He was being inducted to the NFL Hall of Fame. You know what I mean? I know a lot of people don't know what that mean, bro. But, man, that's that's such a big accomplishment for somebody that is doing what they love to do. If you're doing something that you love to do, bro, and you great at it, and you get to the highest level of that thing that you're doing, whether it's been a lawyer, whether it's been a basketball player, well, this, on, in Randy Moss' case, he's a football player. He said he always wanted to be a football player, you feel me? Out of high school, college just wasn't fucking with him. They thought he wasn't good enough. He ended up getting a college scholarship, bro, to play at, what was that team, what was the school name? Um, I think it was, um, I think it was Marshall, bro. It was, it was one of them uh, low budget schools, man, but. He got a scholarship, bro, and he bought the fuck out. Randy Moss bought the fuck out, bro. You feel me? Motherfuckers who still sleeping on him. You feel me? But he ended up getting drafted to the Minnesota Vikings in the first round. And he was supposed to go a lot higher than that, bro. Randy Moss was supposed to be a top five pick, but owners in the NFL wasn't messing with him, bro, because he had a little history in the streets you feel me he had a little trouble with the law but he ended up getting drafted to the minnesota vikings and from day one he balled out bro i'm talking about from day one when i say day one i'm not talking about week one in the regular season i'm talking about from training camp bro rookie mini camp randy moss was dogging motherfuckers in practice then he went to training camp doing the same thing you feel me against the pros that was on his team Motherfuckers that been there all, well, motherfuckers that been there years before he was even in there, bro. Players that was already established. When Randy Moss came in as a rookie, the Vikings had a good team already, bro. They already had a good receiver in Chris Carter. You feel me? He in the, he in, he in the Hall of Fame right now too. When Randy Moss came, he instantly became their number one receiver, bro. Over a Hall of Fame receiver that was still playing in a, at a Hall of Fame level. You feel me? And from week one, Randy Moss was balling out in the regular season, bro. I'm talking about catching passes, making NFL, making all pro DBs look like regular DBs, bro. You feel me? When you hear that, when you hear that, all right, look, I'm going to put it like this. When... Like OBJ right now, when OBJ, when, when a player, well, all right, look, my bad, my bad. When you play, when kids play football outside and you playing with your friend and you know how you get that spectacular catch and you be like, oh, I just Odell, I just Odell Beckham. It don't sound right when you say any other name, but when, when I was a kid, bro, when we played football, when you catch it over somebody, all the only thing we yelled out was Mosting, Mosting, that's where it came from, man, for... The Minnesota Vikings, Randy Moss, I mean, he did that at a rookie. You feel me? He even did it with the Raiders, but it wasn't like the Vikings because we didn't have a quarterback like that. You feel me? And um, went left the Raiders and he did it with the Patriots. You feel me? He did it with the Patriots when everybody said he was washed up and he was his prime career was done when he was with the Raiders. But he went to the Patriots and shut everybody the fuck up. All these analysis that be acting like they know everything, bro. He made everybody look stupid when he went to the Patriots, bro. 22, I believe 22 receiving touchdowns broke the record. That's the year Tom Brady had 50 touchdowns. He beat Peyton Manning touchdown pass record. And that's the same year that they went 18-0 and and lost in the Super Bowl against... The Giants, I believe. Eli Manning there. But you know what I mean? But after all, everything Randy Moss been through, court cases, I ain't finna get into all that, man. But 
he finally get in that car. You feel me? I said all that so to explain the feeling that he's that we're going to see right now in this video, bro. And this is coming. This feeling is coming from a person that his whole life wanted to play football, bro. He got to the highest level of football, and he ended his career with the greatest players that ever played in NFL history, bro, in football history. At the top of his level. So, you know what I mean? You, you know he got to feel some type of way. He lived his dream, and he, you know what I mean? He going to always be known for the shit he did at the shit he wanted to do. So we look, let's get to the video, man. Randy Moss. The call. I bet it feel good for Room him to come to announce that. For the rest of time. Okay, bro. This is giving me chills, bro. Thank you so much. Because this is going to be the beginning of your journey, not the end of your football career. We're going to put a gold jacket on you. We're going to give you a bronze bust. We're going to give you a ring of excellence. Okay, and the things you're going to do with that are incredible. You're going to change people's lives just like this is going to change your life. Back in history. So thank you. Now, here's a couple of things I need from you guys, okay? Uh, no social media, no tweets, no phone calls, because we're going to, you, you're now in the business, <laughs> and we're going to reveal you to the nation live on the honor show, you know, right now. And we got to kind of get over there because there's lots of money in dress, okay? okay? Right. So yeah. God bless you, brother. Thanks, Mr. Okay. Appreciate Congratulations. Thanks for all you've done for me. Thank you. Let's go! Oh yeah, man. Randy Moss, nigga, you deserve that shit, bro. On everything, I'm happy for you, man. I'm genuinely happy for you. You deserve that shit, bro. I seen your whole career, bro. You feel me? Like I, I was one of the, I was one of them kids that seen you first come into the league as a kid. I was a kid, bro. When you first came into the league, and I was the one screaming Moss when I was Moss and niggas. Yeah, these ends work. And you feel me? Like, for me to be how old I am now, to see your whole career from beginning to end, bro, on everything, that's much respect, my man. That shit giving me chills right now, man. You feel me? I'm going to watch more videos like this where everybody, where other players got their call from the Hall of Fame, bro. But I'm glad my first video of a football player getting their, getting their call from, to be in the Hall of Fame, they call, their call to the Hall of Fame, I'm glad it was Randy Moss, bro, because he was one of my favorite players. He was my favorite player, I ain't gonna lie. But, you know what I mean? Like, just think about, just, just think, all right, put yourself in Randy Moss' shoes, dog. Think about what you always wanted to do. That, that, that one thing that made you happy, that you enjoyed doing, that you, it don't matter if you're getting paid for it or not. But just think about that one thing you always dream of doing. And you finally doing it, but you're great at it. And to be known by the whole world for what you did. Well, everything, man, that's an accomplishment that, that you, you, going, you and the rest of your generation is going to appreciate and love for the rest of y'all lives, bro. You know what I mean? And I'm in the video on that note, man. You know, like and subscribe to this channel. I'm Papa Bag and I'm out. Deuces. Bye. Have a great time.